when pilots of the fabled SR-71 Blackbird retired their jet in 1998, they joked that nothing would ever overtake the Habu. Yet two decades later Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works is quietly promising an hare able to sprint twice as fast. The speculative SR-72 Dark Star is designed to lope across continents at roughly 4,000 miles per hour Mach 6 so quickly that by the time an adversary's radar screen flickers, the aircraft will already be slipping over the horizon toward home. From Blackbird to Dark Star, the SR-71 earned its reputation by outrunning every missile the Soviet Union could throw at it, but sheer velocity is only half of the legend. Speed allowed the Blackbird to ignore the cat-and-mouse game of low observable stealth. Altitude and altitude offered sanctuary, and a titanium fuselage shrugged off the desert pot skin temperatures generated at Mach 3.2. As modern integrated air defense networks blossomed, Washington put the Habu in museums and filled its reconnaissance niche with satellites and drones. Now, however, the U.S. Air Force and Lockheed Martin argue that a fresh dose of raw kinetic performance is needed to bust open future anti-access bubbles. Why Hypersonic Matters in 21st Century Warfare Hypersonic flight generally anything above Mach 5 compresses both geography and decision time. At Mach 6, an aircraft covers about a nautical mile every second. That slashes the window for a defender to detect, identify, launch and guide interceptors. China has ranged its coastline with long-range surface-to-air missiles, Russia fields equally dense batteries around key bases, and both nations are experimenting with counter-stealth sensors. In that environment, blistering velocity may once again trump invisibility. Speed is the new stealth, notes air power scholar Justin Bronk, because it denies an opponent the breathing room needed to orchestrate a kill chain. Conceiving the SR-72 Lockheed's advanced development program Skunk Works first leaked the idea in 2013. Engineers sketched a craft roughly the length of an F-22 Raptor demonstrator, but eventually scaling to Blackbird dimensions for the operational model. The concept merged lessons from Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency Falcon HTV-3X, NASA X-43, and the SR-71 itself. Company officials said the demonstrator would be optionally piloted, giving commanders a choice between the situational intuition of a human crew and the endurance of an unmanned vehicle, the twin sole engine. The heart of Dark Star is a turbine-based combined cycle power plant co-developed with Aerojet Rocketdyne. Below roughly Mach 2.5, a conventional afterburning turbine gulps air, providing takeoff thrust and enough acceleration to light the second stage. When the inlet's shock waves climb in strength, Doors wrote airflow around the turbine into a dual-mode ramjet slash scramjet. Within that duct, the incoming air is already moving fast enough to compress itself before meeting a precisely metered kerosene spray. Combustion pushes exhaust out the nozzle at hypersonic speed. Shared inlets minimize drag, but the airflow path splits so that each engine can breathe on its own schedule. By braiding two propulsion philosophies into one machine, Lockheed hopes to eliminate the classic dead zone between the top of turbine range and the bottom of scramjet effectiveness. Materials that survive Mach 6 Blast through the atmosphere at six times the speed of sound and the air itself becomes a blowtorch. Skin temperatures soar past 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, 550 degrees Celsius. Aluminum weeps, traditional composite resins char, and even the SSR-71's titanium turns violet with heat. Dark Star must therefore marry exotic mixes carbon-carbon laminates borrowed from intercontinental missile nose cones, ceramic matrix composites pioneered on the space shuttle, and new titanium aluminide alloys hatched in 3D printers. Add internal fuel tanks that can expand like accordions as the structure cooks, and a cooling system that shunts leftover heat into the fuel before it reaches the engines. Material science, not raw thrust, often sets the real ceiling for hypersonic aircraft and Skunk Works engineers have spent a decade tailoring their metallurgy to cheat the kiln. Manned, unmanned, or both? Rumors once suggested the SR-72 would fly strictly as a drone, but program manager Brian Herberger hinted that Dark Star can perform with or without a cockpit depending on mission risk. In peacetime, an onboard crew allows diplomatic overflight clearance and instant on-scene judgment. In a shooting war, the same airframe might launch as a robot, pushing deeper into hostile skies without fear of prisoners or body bags. By the way, 
Datalink architecture must shovel multi-gigabit sensor feeds across half a globe, and the flight control system must juggle human override with autonomous stability at 5 plus Gs of maneuvering stress. Turning velocity into combat power. Speed alone gathers intelligence the jet can sweep a theater in minutes, soaking up multispectral imagery before ground forces reposition. Yet the United States also wants teeth. Lockheed confirmed in 2018 that the production SR-72 is intended to release hypersonic strike weapons. Air-launched boost glide vehicles or scramjet cruise missiles that ride the same Mach 6 slipstream. Conventional bombs would tumble uncontrollably when released into a hypersonic blast furnace. But purpose-built munitions can glide hundreds of miles after separation, turning Dark Star into a standoff assassin able to punch holes for slower aircraft to exploit. Budget battles and the veil of secrecy. Skunk Works whispered about a demonstrator as early as 2018, yet the Air Force pointedly withheld funding, citing budget ceilings and risk. Instead, the Pentagon bankrolled cheaper drones like Northrop Grumman's classified RQ-180 for surveillance duties. However, NASA quietly awarded Lockheed a propulsion study worth nearly $900,000 in late 2014, and later tacked on an Aerojet Rocketdyne transition contract topping $1 million. Those modest public sums mask a much larger classified pipeline. Congressional black budgets now routinely earmark double-digit billions for advanced aviation platforms. In that shadow ecosystem, the SR-72 may already exist as a gray, windowless prototype haunting Groom Lake. Top Gun Maverick and the Satellite Panic When producers of Top Gun Maverick needed a fictional replacement for the Blackbird, Skunk Works offered artistic guidance. Designer Daniel Simon sculpted a full-scale mock-up so convincing that Chinese intelligence satellites reportedly retasked themselves to photograph the set, suspecting a real prototype hidden in plain sight. The scene became both marketing coup and misdirection. The movie jet exaggerates certain lines, yet technical consultants admit that its platform riffs closely on classified wind tunnel models. For once, Hollywood's penchant for spectacle may have nudged the public nearer to the truth than Lockheed preferred. China, Russia, and the hypersonic race. Beijing is flight testing the MD-22, a wedge-shaped drone rumored to flirt with Mach 7, while Moscow showcases scaled models of the Tupolev Tu-360. Both nations pour resources into boost glide missiles, such as China's DF-17 and Russia's Avangard, demonstrating that they grasp the same calculus, outrun defenses or nullify them, yet an operational hypersonic aircraft reusable, recoverable, and globally deployable remains uniquely American for now. Lockheed's decades-long experience with titanium machining, stealth coatings, and labyrinthine logistics gives the United States a head start that money alone cannot instantly buy. Will Dark Star fly? Official statements predict a first flight for the SR-72 demonstrator mid-decade, with an operational platform entering the inventory early in the 2030s. Signals analysts scour notice to air missions over Edwards AFB and the Utah Test and Training Range for odd supersonic corridors. Aviation buffs monitor tanker call signs that vanish at 60,000 feet. Expect incremental reveals, perhaps a grainy photo of a heat-mapped inlet during ground tests, then a midnight taxi under desert floodlights. And finally, a press release claiming routine high mock operations. The aircraft's true abilities, whether it can sprint coast to coast in 45 minutes or linger for hours above 88,000 feet, will stay stamped, special access required, far beyond its maiden sortie. If you found this video fascinating and want to stay ahead of the curve with more cutting-edge military tech and aviation stories, make sure to hit that like and don't forget to subscribe. Got thoughts about the SR-72 Dark Star or where hypersonic flight is headed? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your take. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next mission.